Fox 13 News at 10 starts now with breaking news. It's reset. We're still following that breaking news on Fox 13 News at 10. This is video of relief. Now, this is the scene in Whitehaven. Within the past hour, a man who went on a shooting spree was finally stopped by Memphis police and Shelby County Sheriff's deputies. Our city was under siege because of this man, 19-year-old Ezekiel Kelly. Police say he was literally driving across our city and recording himself live on Facebook as he randomly shot people. Friends, our hearts are broken tonight. The city of Memphis deserves so much more than this, this, this kind of wanton violence, and that's putting it mildly, and the fear that we've been forced to live in because of actions like this. I'm Daryl Green. And I'm Darcy Thomas. Now, we want to walk you through this evening. As you look at this video, this is the suspect we're talking about. This is 19-year-old Ezekiel Kelly walking into an auto zone, opening up the door, raising his arm, and he randomly shot a man inside. Later, he moved on to a BP gas station where we have learned that a man was shot and killed. Another person was shot on Norris Road this evening near I-240, and since that shooting, police searched for the man in three different vehicles. Now, we just learned that the second victim who was carjacked in the spree was a 17-year-old girl, and she was killed. The suspect crashed at this location, Ivan and Hodge in Whitehaven. You can check it out here on the map. We've been committed to making sure that your family stayed safe and inside all evening. We've shared with you all of the warnings and the pleas from Memphis Police, the University of Memphis, all of them to make sure that you were safe. Now our team coverage at 10 will start with Fox 13's Kate Beery live at the scene where this all ended. Kate. Yeah, yeah Daryl, we're here south of Jean and Hodge where police have set up that crime scene tape. They say that the suspect was taken into custody two blocks north at Ivan and Hodge. This has been a very eventful day, as you have mentioned. Our team, our entire crew, off camera, on camera, has been going to multiple scenes all across Memphis. But it appears as though that day of violence has come to an end in this neighborhood. Again, that's Jean and Hodge. And police say they have that suspect in custody two blocks north at Ivan and Hodge. We've seen a lot of law enforcement officers leave the scene, but like you mentioned, it's been a very intense and scary day for many people across Memphis, told to shelter in their homes, told to stay home and avoid public places because police say that 19-year-old suspect, Ezekiel Kelly, Kelly allegedly targeted random people across town, just went into places of public and allegedly opened fire. People living in fear in their own city. It's been really hard to watch this. I mean, we saw this earlier, it seems, at the gas station near that auto zone. People were just crowded together watching the videos that played out on social media that appears to be live streams of that violent attack. But again, here in this neighborhood, Jean and Dodge, Jean and Hodge, excuse me, is where police say they took that 19-year-old suspect, Ezekiel Kelly, into custody just about 20 minutes ago. This neighborhood was flooded with law enforcement officers, and we saw them all over the city today. We saw them speeding up and down Jackson near the auto zone. It seems as though every time we learned of a new scene, we heard officers speed by us. This neighborhood is getting a little bit more quiet now. We saw a lot of law enforcement officers. You can see them leaving the scene as we speak. We've also been trying to get a good look inside the back seats of their vehicles to see if any one of them has Kelly, that 19-year-old suspect in custody. We have not seen anyone in custody as of yet, but people in this neighborhood have been walking outside their homes, trying to get a better look at the scene. Just an hour ago, these people were told to stay inside their homes because this was such an active investigation. We have been covering this now ever since the news broke. We went to the auto zone. I don't see anyone inside that police vehicle. We've been trying to get a good look at all of the police vehicles that drive by us to see if they have that 19-year-old suspect, Ezekiel Kelly, inside their cars. We have yet to see that, but this neighborhood has quieted down. As you said, this day of violence has hopefully come to an end here in this neighborhood at Hodge and Ivan. You could see that there's at least there's at least two law enforcement vehicles beyond that crime scene tape. Police only put up that crime scene tape 
Within the last half hour, there was a lot of people gathered by trying to get a peek at exactly what happened. But we know that this has been a day of violence for Memphis. It's been a day where people were afraid to leave their homes. They were afraid to get gas. So many people that police say were injured or even killed in public places. We will stay on top of this story and let you know exactly how it unfolds in the next hours. Daryl, Darcy. Thank you so much, Kate. That's Fox 13's Kate Beery reporting for us tonight. In fact, I actually just got some video. This is from a friend of mine. Um, they have family that live right there at Ivan and Hodge. And in the video, you can clearly see someone being arrested. They're in a white t-shirt and shorts, in fact, and they're being put in the back of a Memphis police unit at this point. We are working to get this video for you and show it to you as well, but I believe that this is the suspect, in fact, he that we the have been dealing with. Yes, absolutely. He matches absolutely. the description perfectly. All right, let's go out to Midtown at Poplar and McLean. That's where we find uh, Fox 13's Lakia Scott. We know that there was an incident there as well. Lakia is shooting. Tell us about the, uh, the scene right now. Is it still active? Because I saw at least three vehicles that it looked to be uh, wrecked in that area. That's right, Darrell. Well, as we've been reporting, that suspect is now in police custody. That shelter in place has been lifted. But as for now, where we are at Poplar and Auburn, Darrell, that scene has pretty much cleared up. It's somewhat still an active scene, but definitely not as many officers are here on the scene as there were the last time we spoke. There were multiple law enforcement agencies here tonight, including the Tennessee State Troopers. I'll just tell you, it's been an all hands on deck type of night as authorities were on the lookout for Ezekiel Kelly. Um, again, not as many officers are covering the scene here at Auburndale and Poplar. Now, the reason they were here on tonight is because we were learning that the suspect was swapping out vehicles and trying to keep a low profile and evade police officers. But this is one of those locations where we're told that he carjacked a woman and took off with her vehicle. But again, this scene now near Oak Terrace, this area has been cleared out. Authorities uh, clearing the scene and breaking down this scene here in the area. Again, now that nightmare seems to be over. 19 year old Ezekiel Kelly is now in police custody. Daryl Darcy. Okay, thank you so much. That is Fox 13's Lakia Scott reporting for us tonight. All right, let's take you to another scene tonight. Another shooting location that Ezekiel Kelly was at tonight. Fox 13's Daniel Wilkerson is live on South Parkway East in South Memphis near I-240. Daniel, can you tell us what's going on there at this moment? I know it was extremely busy for you earlier today. Extremely busy is right, Daryl and Darcy. Good evening to you. Yes, it has been quite the evening, as all of you know. This is where a man, we don't know his identity just yet, lost his life. Police have not made the connection yet uh, to whether all of these uh, scenes are connected, but folks, you at home can do the math yourself. I want to show you a couple things out here. This parking spot right here plays a fundamental role in this story. You see, this parking spot right here. This is where the victim's gray Toyota Camry was parked when I'm told the gunman came through this side right off of this street, drove into the parking lot. I'm told by eyewitness that that uh, shooter never got out of his vehicle. He shot the man as he was sitting in his Toyota Camry gray in color right here in this parking spot. I want to show you this. This is video that I shot uh, just a little while ago. This is the Toyota Camry. You can see it there that police towed away again. That is the Toyota Camry that the victim was sitting inside of when again, I'm told by an eyewitness, the shooter came in off of College Street right near uh, 240 and uh, South Parkway East and shot him while he was in his car. I'm told by that eyewitness that the uh, victim slumped over immediately, uh, did not uh, die right away, but died uh, presumably shortly thereafter that shot. We're gonna go ahead and send it back in to Darcy and Daryl. Okay, thank you so much. That is Fox 13's Daniel Wilkerson reporting tonight. Now we do know that this guy, he had a history. We do know that uh, there is a first-degree murder charge, criminal attempt murder charge from February 
3rd, I believe, of 2020. The warrant, in fact, was issued today. Yeah, that's all on the man accused of all these shootings tonight. Let's go to Fox 13's Kayla Solomon, breaking down everything that this man was charged with before tonight. Kayla, what can you tell us? Yeah, so exactly like you mentioned, that first one is the criminal attempted first degree murder charge. But some of the other charges that are all stemming from February 3rd, 2020 include aggravated assault, firearm with intent to commit a felony, as well as reckless endangerment with a deadly weapon. Again, we don't know exactly what this stems from, but we do know that we're digging to find those answers for you. But some of the other questions we have tonight are exactly what charges may be coming from today. So we do know that there is one person confirmed dead at this time, according to our Daniel Wilkerson. But again, we're still trying to get some answers on to what this these charges stem from and what else we can find out about the suspect 19 year old Ezekiel Kelly. Okay, thank you so much. That's Fox 13's Kayla Solomon reporting for us tonight. Now, just to get some clarification, I believe that when Daniel Wilkerson, who's at the BB gas station, I believe he said that one person was shot there inside of his car, in fact. Mm -hmm. But also during this rampage with Ezekiel Kelly, we've learned that he stole another vehicle but there was a 17 year old girl in that vehicle and killed. who was shot and killed as well. So right now we have at least two people who have been killed, one person that has been shot and was injured, and that happened at the AutoZone off of Jackson. And we're, we're very afraid that there's going to be, there are gonna more. be more, more injuries and, and, and possibly worse. We're still waiting to get information from the Memphis Police Department. Of course, they just wrapped this up with an arrest less than an hour ago. I'm right there at Ivan and Hodge in Southwest Memphis. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, okay. Let's go to Fox 13's Kate Beery who is still there at the scene uh, where this man was taken into custody. Kate, any update? Daryl, we do not have any update for you at this hour. We are standing about two blocks south of where police say they took that 19-year-old suspect, Ezekiel Kelly, into custody. You can see that's Gene and Hodge, where they have the crime scene tape set up. And then about a block north, two blocks north, I should say, is Ivan and Hodge, where police say they took that 19-year-old suspect, Ezekiel Kelly, into custody after a day of terror and fear across the Everyone we met that was out in the streets was just dumbfounded at this video that they were watching on social media. They, we met lifelong Memphians who were just at a loss for words that this violence could play out in just such random parts of the city. Police say that 19-year-old live streamed himself shooting random people across the city of Memphis. But that day of terror and fear in the city has thankfully hopefully come to an end as authorities say they have that 19 year old suspect in custody in this neighborhood. We have seen plenty of law enforcement officers leave the scene. It's a lot quieter than it was when we first arrived. When we arrived, we weren't sure what to expect because the suspect was not yet in custody. We were first on scene here with Fox 13 in this neighborhood to bring you live coverage of what's happening. So you had the knowledge to keep your family safe as this played out this violence across the city of Memphis. We have seen plenty of officers leave the scene right now, probably that we can see two, three people behind the crime scene tape, two, three officers, I should say, as they work to investigate the scene, secure the scene. Again, that 19 year old suspect taken into custody about two blocks north on Hodge and Ivan. When we arrived on scene, there were dozens of law enforcement officers. It was a sea of blue and white lights. The neighborhood was very tense. It was very on edge. Right now, things are much calmer. People are not walking around with that same level of fear that they were in the past hour. So again, this neighborhood right now, much quieter. People still walking around outside their homes, but thankfully not the intense situation that it was an hour ago as police work to get that 19 year old suspect in custody who they say live stream shootings across the city of Memphis in multiple corners of Memphis. We had the University of Memphis on lockdown. Even my apartment complex sent out a text that it was on lockdown. We had people who were just afraid to leave their homes as this violence played out in public streets. We know many of you are probably watching from the comfort of your living rooms, you are probably afraid to leave your home. But we can tell you at this hour that authorities say they have that 19 year old suspect in custody who they took into custody around the area of Hodge and Ivan. But we know that you're following all the developments in this story. So I'm going to send it back to you, Daryl Darcy. OK, thank you so much. That is Fox 13's Kate Beery reporting for us tonight. Um, we are getting a picture of this guy, the suspect in 
This is breaking news for us. We do need to warn you. He's smiling in the picture. This is after he is arrested. He is apparently in the back of a police car, but we do have a photo of the suspect this evening, in fact. This is 19-year-old. This is him. This is Ezekiel Kelly. This is the young man that has literally brought absolute terror to this community. This is the person that we know of that may be responsible for two people being dead at this hour. One person injured, bringing terror to this community, causing lockdowns, causing fear, causing frustration. People just don't understand his actions. But as of tonight, we do know he is now in custody. We know that there were four crime scenes today. This situation took us from the city of Memphis all the way down to South Haven. And back. Carjackings and back. All right, let's go to Fox 13's Lakia Scott. She's on McLean Avenue right now. That's, uh, again, another one of these scenes where uh, police say this individual, I'm not interested in this guy's name anymore. Uh, this individual uh, went through there and at least caused, Lakia, do we know, was anybody injured there by gunfire? Because again, we saw at least three vehicles wrecked, but were they the, were they, were the injuries that you saw the result of gunfire? Or can you tell? Daryl, that has actually not been confirmed here, but what we are being told is that this scene here at Poplar and Aubendale, the reason that officers were here earlier tonight, because we're being told that in an attempt to evade authorities, the suspect kept swapping out his vehicles. This is one of those locations where he is said to have done that. We're told that he were hearing actually that he was actually here in this area. He carjacked a woman from what we're told by sources and forced her out of her vehicle. Um, we're told that he shot the woman that again has not been confirmed by authorities, but he took off in that vehicle earlier on tonight. Now, if you take a look back here behind this crime scene tape here again at Auburndale, you can see that officers are becoming fewer and fewer here in this area. They're breaking down this scene. It was once filled with multiple law enforcement agencies earlier tonight before they actually took that suspect in custody. Uh, again, not as many officers right now covering this area. Uh, again, 19 year old Ezekiel Kelly now in custody. Uh, we're told again that this area is one of the locations where he attempted to swap out one of those vehicles that he was driving in and carjacked a woman and took off in her car. Now, again, officers, they were once packing the street here. Uh, this is the intersection of Poplar 1700 block. They were here fully covering this area about an hour ago. And just to give you some perspective, we are near Oak Terrace. Um, there's a Mapco and Joe's Wines that is at an intersection behind me, a Taco Bell, also India Palace, just to give you an idea of where we are on tonight. But again, this area here, right behind this crime tape, officers are clearing out, not as many, but again, still a crime scene van on the scene, still about 10 officers, cruisers are, that are still on the scene on this street here on Poplar and Auburndale. Um, so apparently they are investigating something because this area is still blocked off with crime scene tape. It just has not been confirmed exactly what they are investigating. But again, all of this uh, due to that rampage that was linked to 19 year old Ezekiel Kelly, who is now in police custody. And again, that uh, that warning and that alert that was sent out earlier by police has been lifted. Darcy, Darrell. Okay, thank you so much. That is Fox 13's Lakia Scott reporting from the uh, McLean near the Poplar and McLean area. All right, we've got brand new video. We just showed you that rather sickening picture mm -hmm. uh, just a moment ago. We've got new video under the newsroom that shows the moments this man was taken into custody. Fox 13's Kayla Solomon is joining us live tonight in our studio with that new video. Kayla, what does it show? It shows exactly that Ezekiel Kelly being taken in. You can see him here. He's walking. They're taking him into the car or at least attempting to. Let's erase that for you. But they are walking him out. You can see him in this white t-shirt here and it looks like they are 
taking him into the car. Now, again, we got this video from social media. It's been floating around ever since he was taken into custody about 30 minutes ago. So we are telling you now that he is in custody. This is 19 year old Ezekiel Kelly. This is after hours of going on a shooting spree. Again, he is in police custody and we have the video of that happening from social media. Just a correction there, Kayla. We got that video from uh, one of Darcy's mm -hmm. sources. One of her sources actually sent that video into us. Thank uh, you so much, Kayla. Just for clarification, but thank you for that. So again, uh, this man, the alleged shooter, a 19 year old with a attempted first degree murder warrant out for him that was issued this morning for an attempted first degree murder, according to the DA's office from 2020, went on a shooting rampage today, started about 430 and covered at least five locations now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At least five, at least two people are confirmed dead. Both of them shot by this individual. One other person we have confirmed injured. There could be many others we don't yeah, know we yet. Don't know. Those are the confirmations that we do have. The Memphis police are still uh, telling us that after they do more fact gathering and they have mm -hmm. all of their information uh, formulated, they're going to give us a news conference and tell us uh, what they know. It has been five hours of sheer terror. Yeah. for everyone across this community, but it Needless. finally ended. Needless evil. Absolutely, it finally ended at Ivan and Hodge. Now just two blocks from that area, that's where we find Fox 13's Kate Beery tonight. Kate. Darcy, like you mentioned, five hours of sheer terror across Memphis as people were worried that they could even leave their homes with reports of gunfire, people injured in public, random people across Memphis. We are two blocks south of where police say they took that 19-year-old suspect, Ezekiel Kelly, into custody. You just saw a photo shared by a source with Fox 13. We have been looking in the back seats of law enforcement vehicles, and we have yet to see the 19-year-old suspect for ourselves, but you can see that crime scene tape at Hodge and Jean, which is two blocks south of Hodge and Ivan, where police say they took that 19 year old suspect into custody. My photographer Sam Hudson and I were talking about just how different this neighborhood looks and feels compared with an hour ago. When we arrived on scene, there were officers in tactical gear running around trying to secure the scene. When we arrived, the suspect was not yet in custody, so it was a very, very once the officers did take the suspect into custody, we did see the neighborhood begin to quiet down. You can still see people here on the sidewalks watching the scene, trying to figure out what happened. But again, a much quieter neighborhood here in Memphis than we saw an hour ago. Like we mentioned, there was a sea of flashing blue lights when we arrived. There were dozens and dozens of law enforcement vehicles, too many to count, from multiple agencies and tactical gear. Now we're seeing that there's probably Past my right shoulder, we're seeing one, two, a few more officers beyond the yellow tape. Again, they're confirming that they have that 19-year-old suspect, Ezekiel Kelly, into custody. We have been working for the past five hours to bring you the most up-to-date information. Earlier today, we were at the Auto Zone off Jackson, where police say the suspect live streamed a video of himself shooting someone inside the store appears to be an innocent person just shopping at AutoZone and when we were on that scene earlier people were frightened I stopped by the gas station adjacent to the AutoZone and people were just crowded in groups just sharing that video that live stream that appeared to show the suspect shooting that man at AutoZone so finally we're seeing somewhat of an end to the chaos of this day still a very heavy and difficult day for the city of Memphis. We met lifelong Memphis residents today who said they they could not believe that this violence took place in random parts of the city and they were just frustrated and saddened to learn that this had happened in the first place. Again, our entire newsroom on air, off air, we've all been working to give you the most up-to-date information letting you know once the suspect was taken into custody we were first on scene here at hodge and ivan it was a much different scene about an hour ago where we had literally a sea of law enforcement officers i shouldn't say literally figuratively a sea of law enforcement officers a sea of blue lights now it is much quieter in this neighborhood you could see probably in front of me a half dozen maybe law enforcement vehicles we've seen a number of them leave the scene as they say they've taken that 19 year old suspect into custody we have been working tirelessly to bring you the most up-to-date information as it unfolds over the past few hours it's been a very heavy day in our newsroom as you mentioned our newsroom was on lockdown 
my apartment complex was on lockdown. The University of Memphis was on lockdown. All of the neighborhoods across town were just bracing for this, staying inside their homes, people afraid to pump gas, people afraid to go out grocery shopping. Again, this scene much quieter than it was before. We smell a little bit of smoke in the air. We're not exactly sure where that came from, but we have been working every minute to bring you the most up-to-date, accurate information, and we will continue working long after we end our newscast tonight. Daryl Darcy. Thank you, Thank Kate. Thank you so much, Fox Kate. 13's Kate Beery there at Ivan and Hodge. And Kate, just so you know, that smoke you smelled, according to one of my sources who was there, um, that's because the Dodge Charger was wrecked. He wrecked that car um, in the process of running him from police, and that's how they caught him. He, he wrecked the car. It may have been, I think it was even on its side at one point. So that smoke you smelled uh, was coming from the engine. Now, we do want to reiterate, too, that all of the lockdowns, mm -hmm. uh, all of them, lockdowns and shelter in place orders have been lifted. That's from the University of Memphis campus um, all the way through the city and AutoZone Park. They had locked down AutoZone Park for a while. They had told fans and players to shelter in place there at the park, but they lifted that very quickly after the MPD tweeted the all clear and everybody went home. Darrell, we've spent about now about six hours now. Yeah. It was about an hour ago where the terror that has been happening across the city finally ended at Ivan and Hodge. In fact, we do have video tonight. This is a cell phone video of this 19 year old suspect being arrested. He was taken into custody shortly after that being booked at 201 Poplar right now. I'm sure as we speak, probably questioned as well. Um, the MPD has told us that uh, we should expect some sort of a news conference at some point this evening. I believe that was the last word we heard just after 930. I'm not sure if that is still the case given the late hour. They may wait, and may wait until the morning or they may uh, carry this through the night and give an update uh, uh, at some point this evening. Obviously, I don't think that's going to happen there in the Whitehaven neighborhood at Ivan and Hodge just off range, but um, we were expecting to get some word from the MPD and some indication on the timeline, confirmation of the timeline. And one of the things a lot of people really want to know about is how many people were injured, how many people um, were directly affected uh, in, this, in this shooting spree. Uh, we do know, as, as we have pointed out time and time again, over the past hour after we got confirmation, uh, one man was killed at the BP station. Uh, another young lady was killed during a carjacking, I believe somewhere in Midtown. Uh, maybe near the Evergreen area, a 17 year old was killed, 17 year old girl was killed. And we know another person was injured there at the AutoZone store mm -hmm. um, on um, Jackson Avenue, right there, Jackson and Wales. I doubt seriously if those are the only lives affected because we also saw the ambulance there at McLean and Poplar. Right. Again, we right. don't, Lakia has don't been there. We don't know if that's actually fully connected. Lakia was working. there very quickly after right. this happened, and we still don't know if those people were shot or possibly were involved in car wrecks because we saw three wrecked cars there as this man ran from police. But this city went into immediate action today. They shut the city down. They reminded everyone you need to stay in place, shelter in place between the city, Memphis police, law enforcement, University of Memphis. I mean, this city came together under an umbrella of just terror tonight. And there's the Violent terror, but this is video of the arrest.